tutorial for some of my fellow professors out there. I have some very large lecture classes. I have about 600 students in one class. I give them participation point opportunities throughout the semester, both in class and through Canvas or our learning management system. However, I do not necessarily want to have 600 submissions every time one of these opportunities comes up. Some of these I want to make available on a first come, first serve. So only the first 100 or the first 50 or the first 200 students that get themselves in the queue, get themselves lined up, uh, can actually submit the assignment for grading. This helps modulate my grading throughout the semester. It also puts some sense of urgency on uh, the students as far as trying to get um, things together and get it submitted. But uh, the main thing is that it allows us to kind of spread out and, like I said, modulate the workload throughout the entire semester. So let me show you how that gets set up in Canvas. And I will have to say that I got some help from our learning um, center here for our Teaching for Learning Center. And they were great in helping me understand how to set this up in Canvas. To have an assignment where you want to limit the number of students that can submit that assignment, on Canvas, you need to create a separate module just for that assignment. Now, I've told my students that this assignment is going to be limited to 120 students, first come, first serve. However, it's a two-step process. So I'll get into that in just a minute. But let me identify what these three parts that I have in this module. The first one is simply a page to describe what the assignment's about. What are they going to be expected to do in order to successfully complete this assignment? So that's just a simple page. Then there are two other assignments. This first one here is really just a gatekeeper. This is what helps me limit the number of students that are going to submit the final assignment, which is down here, this week eight survey. And so um, there's a couple key things here. So let's look first at how the module is set up. If I go to edit, you'll see that I have the title of the module, but then it has some requirements. There's no prerequisites. Maybe you could do it with prerequisites as well. I'm not sure. But the way I do it is have these requirements. Students must complete all these requirements. They must move through them in sequential order. So for this assignment that acts as the gatekeeper, the I want to submit eight week assignment, they must score at least a one. So even if I had 300 students that submitted this and I wanted to limit it to 120, I could simply sort in the speed grader the students by when they submitted it. And I could have the earliest at the beginning. And then I could give a 1 to all of those 120 students that submitted it um, and were first in line. And then everybody else would either not get graded or would get a 0. That would make my ability to have certain students move through it and others not that's what would actually do it. That would be kind of turning the valve, if you will, or turning on the switch for some students. When they receive a one out of one, that means they're free to go ahead and move to the week eight survey. And then they submit that. They'll complete the entire module. Okay, so this gateway assignment, if you will, it's relatively simple. All they have to do is submit something that says, I want to submit. You'll notice it has up here in blue that this does not does not count toward the final grade. So while it is worth one point, it's not going to count this assignment toward the final grade. It's just a text entry. And uh, if we were to look at this from student view, you would see that uh, here I am, the test student. All I have to do is put in here, I want to submit an article. Hit submit. And now I'm basically done. So I'll leave that student view. 
So once students have submitted this, we can then actually look at doing the grading. So as I mentioned, we could come over here to speed grader and make sure that I don't reveal any of my students' names. Uh, but what I can do is I can come over here under options and I can sort by the date they submitted the assignment. So I could do this and I could then go through and very speedily uh, give a grade of a one out of one to all those students who successfully, uh, oh, let me also do this, hide students' names, uh, that will make it easier to record this. And so there's a student, they submitted it um, at this particular time. Um, So I'm going to go to the front of the line here, okay? And so here's probably one of the first per people that submitted this, and I can just give them a one, okay? And I can track things. I have now graded one out of 588, so I could keep on going to the next student, so forth and so on. Now with something like this, where I only have 100 or so that have actually submitted this, I can actually do this in the grade book a little bit faster. So once again here, you may have a brief interruption as I try to uh, make sure I can seal the student grades here. All right, actually did that correctly. Um, and uh, we'll see here that uh, I want to submit this over here. Those are the two grades that I just entered. Uh, in this case, uh, I've got 107 students that have submitted. Uh, I'm fine with uh, having all of them uh, receive a one so that they can go on to the next part of this. So I'm just gonna sort this by missing. And so it'll put all the ones that are missing at the top. And then I can scroll down until I get to uh, where there's a submission. That's gonna just say, I wanna submit. And then I'm going to really quickly with my keyboard. Move through all these. So now those hundred and some students uh, now have access to the next part. So they can now move down to the actual submission. Okay. And so if we look at this here, um, uh, it's I'm going to pr actually probably close this now, but all those students that received a one will now have this no longer grayed out, and they'll be able to click on it, and they have now another six days to actually submit this assignment. So I hope that helps. I hope that was clear how to create a module, make the module requirements, such as they have to receive a one on that kind of gateway assignment, make that gateway assignment something simpler, simple, just a checkbox or something where they just submit uh, something to hold their place in line. You can then go into either the speed grader and list it by the dates in which they have um, submitted it, or you can go into the grade book and uh, actually just look uh, as far as uh, who is submitted right now, and if that number is acceptable to you, you can then just give everybody uh, that has submitted something a one, and that will let them get on to the next one. So this is how I found uh, to implement this first come, first serve idea in Canvas. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if I can make that any clearer. Um, certainly reach out to me if you wanna do a quick Zoom call and talk about it a little bit more or share with me your tricks for doing it better. Mm -hmm.